All right. November 2nd. Are you kidding me? November? I feel like I was at a New Year's Eve party like last weekend. It's just crazy. Uh, I'm not going to go too far into it, but you guys know that November and December are the most important months of the year. It's really what kind of sets you up to have a huge launch into 2017 because there's so many people that are watching right now that have holidays going on and all that good stuff. Maybe Sarah's going to talk about that, so I don't want to steal her thunder. But this is definitely a time that uh, you got to be showing up on your own journey, posting your journey on so social media. This is when people are watching to see who's staying with it, who they can trust to jump on board with, you know, towards the end of this year and, and into those New Year's resolutions. So, quick quote uh, from Grant Cardone. He is the author of the book 10X. If you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend that you do. If you have read it, I recommend that you read it again. <laughs> uh, so, quote, people are settling for the reality rather than working to their full potential. Love that. So true. Okay, let's jump into some recognition. Success Club. As of November Success Club. No, 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 no. Not November. We're going we're gonna to read off October. These are the coaches that had hit Success Club 10 as of like October 28th, 29th. Uh, so we have Allison Beyer, Brooke Reed, Caroline Nathan at 11, Marie Sardelli, Sarah Olinsky, and Cindy Gully at 12, Shannon Stumpf, and myself at 13, Casey Bocklet at 15, Aaron Johnson, and Beth McDonald at 17, Amy Reelman, and at 18, Bree Simpson. Ashley Feldenson and Chris Bocklet leading the pack with 18 successful points. And I think they probably had a little bit more because that was a few days off. Um, okay. And for November already with the Court of Force Challenge Pack launch coming in, uh, we already got two people that hit Success Club as of November 1st. And that would be Ashley Feldenson and Caroline Nathan kicking off November with a bang or with a boom, I should say. Okay, uh, one more recognition here. The weak leg team volume from last week. So these coaches had, last week, had over 300 team volume points in their weak leg. So every, every coach has a left and a right leg, and you get team volume based on the production of the coaches in your left leg. That's your left team volume, and then the coaches in your right leg, that's your, your right leg team volume. So these coaches had over 300 team volume points and they're weaker of those two legs. Donnie Imez, I always mess that up. Uh, Danielle Hills, Jill Wagner, Marjorie Foley, Emily Crushore, Brooke Reed, Suzanne Reyes, Susan Susanna Bell, Marilyn Bourget, and Kelly Marks. Over 500 team volume points in their weak leg. Lauren Kellum, Bridget Moore, Ashley Feldenson, Charles Wallace, Michael Bocklet, Margaret Macarer, Trip Knowles, Nicoletta Sidowitz, Dave Yakel, Josh Morgan, Marie Sardelli, Chris Bocklet, Carrie Steelman Schmidt, Pete Reelman, Amy Reelman's second business center, Brittany Miller, and Wade Kepar with over a thousand team volume points in their weak leg. Nick Waltz, Shauna Valenta, Gage Eckert, Joe Policino, Stacy Slade, Robert Rodriguez, my third business center, Caroline Nathan and Alyssa Sardelli with over 3,000, over 4,000 team volume points in their weak leg. Terry Bocklet, Amy Reelman, Michelle Phillips, and Amy Morgan with over 5,000, Andrea Wallace and my second business center, and over 10,000, Beth Reelman and myself. That is your weak leg team volume recognition. Cool, cool. Uh, before we jump into this call, uh, a, a little challenge for you guys, kind of for myself too. So hopefully some of you guys take on this challenge and keep me accountable to the challenge. So I've done a few test groups that, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get asked to do one being Pio, uh, the other being the beach body performance line. And I did 21 day fix extreme for, for three weeks. I don't know what it is, but when you are selected to do a test group, you typically go all in on this thing. And you get unbelievable results. I never got, I've never been in better shape than I, than I was those two times. After the Pio test group and after that 
the beach body performance test group. You just, you just commit to it all in, you get amazing results. And, and after those two test groups, I got so many people that got on board with those two products and my business just took a huge jump because of it. So my challenge to myself and to challenge you guys is to treat Court of Force like you've been selected to be in a test group. Can you guys, you guys, who's in for that? Who wants to challenge, take that challenge? Take like seriously, I know it's weird, you take before photos sometimes, but like seriously take real before photos, real before measurements, just like they asked you to be in a test group, right? Pick the date you're gonna do it, I'm starting November 14th, and commit to 30 days of the nutrition plan and the workouts, just like a test group. Just like Beachbody's gonna ask you for your after photos at the end of these 30 days. Who's up for that? Yeah? So like, I also got asked to be in the country heat test group. I don't think many people know that because I didn't, I didn't do country heat. So like, I'm, I'm asking you to do this if it's something that you think you're gonna love or, and, or if you could start it and you don't love it. Like I, did the, I got asked, there was 40 coaches out of 400,000 coaches, 40 of them got asked to do the test group for country heat, right? I was honored to be asked to do it. And I tried it and it just not, it was not for me. I couldn't get into it. And I'm not gonna put videos of myself doing it just to like try to sell the product because if it wasn't really me, that if I wasn't really passionate about it, you know what I mean? It just felt fake. So I want you to attack Court of Force. If it's something you love, share it, but attack it and figure out if it is, it is something you want that you love and then you can share it from there. If it's not something you love, it's not your thing, then, then share that and say what you don't like about it. You know, like, we're not here to, to just sell stuff and make stuff up. We're here to like be tr our true human being, tell the truth, share, be real, be vulnerable with that stuff. Cool. So who's taking that challenge? Who wants to commit 30 days before photos? We're going to do some after photos. I'm going to give out prizes to some of the best before and after photos on Team Boom. And we're going to rock this thing. I'm starting November 14th. So I got a group of people that are doing it with me and they got to order it by, by Friday, this Friday, or probably by this Sunday to get into that group with me. And then I'm going to do another challenge group that starts the Monday after Thanksgiving. So that deadline is going to be probably two, two and a half weeks from now. Um, so I'm all in with the course thing because I love it. It's just like, there's something about it. I do the workouts. It's, all, it's, it's my kind of thing. So hopefully you guys, you know, feel that same way. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to rock that all the way through December too, November and December. I'm going to do two rounds all the way to January 15th. Cool challenge. Uh, and you guys can hold me accountable to that too. It's going to be tough for the holidays, but I'm doing this. All right. Uh, there were a few diamonds. I posted in the diamond group, the team boom diamond group. For those of you that don't, don't know to be a diamond, you need eight personally sponsored coaches, four on each leg. Uh, and one of them has to be an emerald one on each leg to get to diamond. And when you get to diamond, you get to be in the, the team boom diamond group, which is pretty cool. And so I posted in that diamond group earlier this week and I, and I asked if anyone had any shout outs, you know, they wanted to, to give to some of their people. So I'm going to let them do that real quick. Just a sentence or two, nothing crazy. Uh, but just a quick shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to, uh, my coach, uh, Denise Fernandez, uh, all the way down in Texas and South Texas, her first month as a coach, she crushed the challenge group as a challenger. And then her first month is running an amazing challenge group and hit success club her first month. And if she hits it two more months in a row, she wins that free ticket to summit, but she hit it her first month and she wins that free call or that group exclusive group call with Carl Dykler. That was more than two sentences. Um, all right. Who's next? I know Caroline, I know Jillian. I can go, you want me to go real quick? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I have amazing coaches, so I like, I wish I could shout them all out, but two in particular, Kate McGinty. Um, she kills it in my coach group. She's like reorganized our, all our files, is on every single call, all the training groups, um, shows up consistently in her own journey um, and in our and runs the sneak peeks and is just incredible. Um, and then I have a new coach, Lisa Goldberg, who hit success club 10 and enrolled four coaches in her first month. Um, three of which are working the business, um, after like doing beach by on demand stuff. And she's on every morning power hour. She's in the sneak peeks. She's super consistent. We have a group challenge message thread 
and I come back and there's like 80 missed messages after work and she's like constantly answering people's questions whether they're her challengers or not so huge shout out to her yeah beautiful that was more than two sentences too but it's tough it's tough to do uh all right i think jillian maybe or was there anyone else wanted to yeah i'll go real quick awesome. um my cousin tamra joined me in a 21 day fix group a really long time ago she had great results with it um I'm, she didn't quite reach her goal but she stuck with it and she was consistent with shakeology and her workouts she did 21 day fix 21 day fix extreme and hio and she's about to do port of force um but I think she's kind of a testament to the business that if you just stay consistent and like start sharing your story, cause she's not, hadn't really been interested in the coaching opportunity, but I kind of like pushed her here and there to just share a little by little and like watch how she just naturally inspires people. And she actually um, has just sold her first two challenge packs by people reaching out to her after she wore her super smoking hot Halloween costume um, and showed off her new bod that she's worked really hard for. So if you stick with it and if you start to share and people see that you're a product of the product, they're going to come to you even if you don't approach them. So I just want to give her a big shout out and say congratulations and good job. And now she's got the fire going a little bit. So I'm excited for it. Boom. I love it. And keeping it in the fam. I like that. Uh, all right. Andrea Wallace with a shout out for Jenna Skivington for starting a new 30 day success club training. Ooh, yeah. Uh, all right, how about Nicoletta? Hey guys, um, I wanted to quick give a quick shout out to, I'm not sure if she's on yet or not, but my cousin-in-law, Brittany. Um, she's been watching my husband and my journey for a couple years now, and um, she just signed up to be a coach, and she's uh, doing her first challenge group and really tuning into all the different trainings and getting involved, um, and had her first um, person join her um, in our challenge group and everything, so I'm just really proud of her for that. And more importantly, she's having success um, with Shakeology and her personal health journey. It's her first real experience with it, and she's feeling better. So at the end of the day, that, that's what matters most um, for health purposes. Also, a quick shout out to Tara and Sam um, for making it to Super Saturday. And if Randy's on for her very first ever Super Saturday, and Tara's been crushing it. She's had a really, really important exam. Um, she works full time as a coastal engineer, and she has been... Um, uh, studying for a really, really important uh, exam, like a national board exam, while being a mom, while her husband's going to China, all this kind of craziness, all while staying uh, connected to her team and her coaches and everything. And also to Stacy um, getting uh, and Sam uh, starting to get consistent with 6 a.m. power hours together, and Marie Sardelli and Michelle Katz as well. So thank you, ladies, so much. I love the consistency. Oh, do you have a team name yet? Chasing Health. What is it? Chasing health for this little guy. Say hi. Chase, what up, bro? <laughs> it's Mr. Pat. Mr. Pat. Chasing health. Sounds yes. like you guys are, got some serious momentum. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, okay. Tripp's got a shout out for Amanda Hart for being so consistent and focused on her journey. She's attracting a lot of watchers and making real connections. L Deal, a.k.a. Lauren Deal. Shout out to Rachel, Jen, Alexi. Denise and Mir Mire for inspiring lives every day and starting their, their with growing their own. Beautiful. Starts with yourself. Uh, Amy Realman, shout out to Sarah Linsky for being in the 1000 team volume weak leg club. Uh, boom. Tamara says thanks to Jillian. All right, cool. So I love the shout outs. We're going to hop into the meat of this call here. So we have Team Boom's very own. Hopefully you guys have seen Sarah's before and after photos, uh, which kind of speak for themselves in a way, but I'm sure there's a lot more than what's just in those photos. I know there is actually, so we're really excited for her to, to share her story. Uh, so Sarah has lost 69 pounds in six months. She's, she hit diamond in seven weeks. She's signed 46 coaches. And she has uh, 20 active coaches, and she's hit Success Club seven months in a row. She works full time at Oracle while doing her beach body business on the side. So, Sarah, we're really excited for you to take some time. I know you're super busy with all, with all you do, but uh, we're really pumped to have you on here and and tell us a little bit about uh, you know where you're from and kind of your background and 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 how Beachbody's kind of been a part of of this journey for you. 
Well, I would say it's been all of this journey for me. And I literally, I honestly wouldn't be here speaking on this call, obviously, but I honestly don't know if I would have the health to be speaking on this call. So um, I just worked out and I thought everyone would probably appreciate the uh, just ran a marathon look rather than like the just worked like, you know, 40 hours look. Um, but um, I'm just so honored to be here and speaking on this call. It's probably the proudest moment of my entire life. So not kidding. Um, you know, I, I think that I have to start by going a little bit into my background and talking about how um, obesity played a role in my life for 15 years. Um, so America is completely overridden by obesity. I mean, Carl Deichler's entire mission is to end obesity in America, right? And so <laughs> I fell prey to it like every, like, like millions of Americans do every single year. And, um, you know, I was 10 years old. My parents were going through a divorce and, you know, my sister was really strong. She would go to her room and, you know, just kind of, kind of hang out and, and not worry about it. But for me, um, everything was about food and I coped with, um, my parents' divorce through food. Um, you know, people joke about binge eating. You know, people say binge eating, but no one really knows what binge eating is until you eat an entire box of pasta, then you eat an entire box of yodels, and then you go and my mom used to buy brownie batter and she used to wonder where it went. And I would literally put brownie batter into a bowl and mix it with water and eat it. And you know, the thing is that it was to deal with my feelings. You know, it wasn't because I was hungry. You know, it was because I was 10. You know, I had all these feelings that kind of came through and I didn't know how to deal with them and I didn't know how to express them. And so I really turned to food. And um, sugar is the killer, you know. And so I was addicted to sugar and I developed a food addiction. And I dealt with that addiction for 15 years. Um, you know, there was a moment in my life where I turned 25. And so when I was 19, I had had pancreatitis three times. I'd have my gallbladder removed. Um, and my doctors were telling me that I had hypertension at age 19. I weighed 200 pounds and you would have thought that that would have gotten me to stop. But I got pancreatitis another two times. And it wasn't until I sat on my bed looked at my knees that had developed patellofemoral tracking disorder because I had so much weight in my body, 255 pounds, right? And um, I looked and I said, I'm going to die at age 35. I'm not going to live past 35. Like, I, I, there's no way. Um, and so I cried, and I cried for about 15 minutes and just sobbed to myself. I just binged on seven large pretzel rods and 35 chocolate kisses, okay? And that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you try to eat 35 chocolate kisses, that's a lot of chocolate kisses, okay? It, it, it doesn't go slowly, or it doesn't go quickly. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I felt hopeless. And then Anna R. Magno, who is my coach, had reached out to me two, three times about Shakeology. I called it Shakeology at the time. I didn't know it was a beach body program about something that would cure my binging would cure my food addiction, something that would take away my cravings. And after sobbing for a long period of time, I just decided I was like, I'm not going to die. I'm, I'm not going to die at this age. I have too much to live for. And so I messaged her and I said, girl, I'm in. I don't know what else to do. I need help. Sign me up right now. I had no idea what to expect, to be completely honest with you at all. Nothing. I had no idea. And, um, you know, I'm sorry for give, giving you that tangent there, but it's really important you know the severity of what I was dealing with. Um, so <laughs> Anna had asked me, you know, she's like, here, I'm going to sign you up as a discount coach. I was like, great, you know, 25% off. That sounds awesome to me. But I told her over and over again, I was like, I do not want to coach. No way. You know, I'm too busy, blah, blah, blah. All these excuses in the book, right? Um, but then I lost five pounds in my first three days in my challenge group. And I was like, um, okay, yeah, I, I think I can probably sell this. Like, let, let's do it. Um, and so 
you know, the thing is that over the past six months, I look back at where I was and I cannot even possibly imagine where I would have been without Beachbody. And that's why I feel so passionately about it. Um, like I, like Pat had said, I've lost 69 pounds. And so I started at 255. Today I started, I stepped on the scale at 187, but I gained back two pounds. So I'm back on the track of one, to 186 and 185 and hit those 70 pounds. But it's not about the weight for me at all. It's not about the number. It's about the way that I feel. And so another part of this journey was that I was pre-diabetic. And I was 0.1 points away from being, pre from being full blown diabetes at age 24 years old, full blown diabetes. Um, I had hypertension. My blood pressure was 160 over 95 at age 24. Um, the best part of this journey was going to the doctor three months in after I lost 44 pounds and her being like, You do not have diabetes, you are not even close to being pre diabetic. And your blood pressure, my blood pressure was like 130 over 78, mostly because I was so freaking excited. I was like running in. I was like, yes, weigh me. Let's go. Like, you know, I was just like, I was so ready. I was so happy. I was so excited. Um, and so like the number one thing I have to say is that Beachbody saved my life. When you guys are all going, or you guys are going out there and you guys are posting and you guys are, you know, inviting people you could possibly be making a change in someone's life like, like my life was changed. I would be dead by the time I was 40 without Beachbody. No question. No question. Because I'm not one of the lucky ones. You know, I'm not lucky. I am not, you know, 50 years old without health problems being 300 pounds. I was 24. So the fact that Anna continued to post and continue to post that healthy message and continue to reach out to me, that's what we're doing here. We literally are able to save someone's life by just sharing what we're doing every single day. And that's the most powerful thing. And so Pat talks about this all the time, but there's something called the ripple effect. And so Pat doesn't real Pat maybe didn't realize when, you know, Anna first signed me up, he didn't realize that he was going to save my life by signing up Amy, who signed up Caroline, who signed up Anna. But Pat saved my life because of what he did and because of what Amy did and because of what Caroline did and because of what Anna did. And so that's what we're doing here. We're creating this ripple of health, saving lives every single day. So when you look at your beach body check every Thursday, as I do at like 5 a.m., I'm like, let's go. Um, I really know that it's not just about the money. It's not about me being able to pay my rent. It's about the fact that like my new challenger, Doreen, calls me after work and we talk. And she says, I feel like I'm going to binge. And I'm like, no, Doreen, you're not going to binge. And I talk her out of it. And if that's what she needs during this beginning time, because God knows I know how tough that is, that's what I'm going to give her. So um, the interesting thing is that it's, it's so crazy to finally be investing in my challenge groups because that was something I kind of did wrong when I first started. I mean, we all learn from from our mistakes. And for me, I'm, I'm a saleswoman. You know, I was all about like recruiting. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like get as many coaches as I can, but then they would all go away. And I was like, I don't get it. Like, you know, this program is so amazing. Why aren't they loving it? And I realized it's not just about the program. The challenge group is just as important. So that experience that you give your coaches, the one that like gives them that support and like tells them that they can do it every single day, that is half the battle. And so I thought back and I was like, my challenge group was amazing when I first went in. My challenge group, that, that 21 day cha fixed challenge group was incredible. You know, it was run by Steph and Anna. They posted every day. Everyone was involved. Anna reached out to me all the time. And I was like, literally, duh, like this is what I'm doing wrong. And so Last month was, was the first month in five months I didn't hit S Club, um, S Club. <laughs> Success Club 10. I hit Success Club 9. And the reason is, is because I invested so much more time into the challengers that signed up. Guess what? Not one canceled. 
This is the first time. Yeah, that's so funny. That's what's up. Uh, this is the first time that I did not have a coach cancellation during a month. And so, yeah, I didn't recruit nine coaches, but that's because I don't think I'm personally at the place yet where I can recruit and give that time because I'm still learning. And so I've learned, I'd rather put that time into these coaches, give them that health journey and maybe create that ripple effect, then sign up 10 coaches, eight of which are going to, you know, quit in a couple, a couple of months. And it, it didn't, it didn't do anything for them and it didn't give them that journey. So, um, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy working my full-time job. I work at Oracle and software sales and also balancing, you know, Beachbody, but they're both equally important to me. And that's something that I stress to a lot of people, you know, like a lot of people have the goal of retiring and working in Beachbody, which I think is absolutely incredible. But for me, I love what I do, but I love Beachbody equally. And they give me two different um, pleasures in life. Like one pleasure, I, one, one part I get to like be like that, you know, hard hitting saleswoman and just like kind of like, you know, be, be a little crazy. And then with Beachbody, I get to change lives and make money. So it's like two different loves together that combine as one. So a lot of people worry that, you know, oh my gosh, you know, what if I don't love one more than the other? You don't have to. You can love both equally as long as you love both equally, you know? Like, I mean, I, I feel like the longer you do Beachbody, the more you might actually want to lead towards doing it full time. But for me right now, I'm just enjoying it. I'm enjoying the ride and I'm enjoying what I get to do every single day. And so, um, I remember Pat one time talked about going on a tangent. So I'm going to look back at what I, what I wrote about. So I don't <laughs> go into tangent land. Um, so, you know, this is something that I, that I did the other day. Um, and I started doing this because I'm like, I need to reach more people. You know, my warm market's starting to run out. This is something that happens to everybody. You know, I had a really big warm market, mostly because my friend group was made up, made up of people I was comfortable with, which are people who were generally overweight or people I had met through, you know, I was in a lot of um, fat, uh, I don't want to say fat, plus size acceptance groups, um, you know, basically groups that glorified being plus size. I made a lot of friends through there and I recruited a lot of people, but those people run out really quickly and, you know, you kind of realize how much these people need help. So I've started to post in groups like my 383 pound um, weight loss journey. So I realized after posting there, how few people know about Beachbody, how few people know about 21 Day Fix, how few people know about Shakeology. It's crazy. So I was, I was saying the other night in Amy's call, we literally have touched 1%, maybe 2%, but 1% of all the people that need our help. So the thing is, you can think of it two ways. You can think of it as 1% of the people that you want to recruit and bring to your team, or you can think of it as 1% of the people that literally have been helped by us. That means that 99% of the world literally, I mean, okay, so we'll break it down. Maybe 75% of the world, hopefully 25% of the world is healthy. God, you know, let's hope. But 75% <laughs> of the world, that needs, you know, weight loss, needs our help. And so when you're going out there and you're prospecting, because, you know, the number one thing is you have to prospect every single day. You have to add people. You have to be reaching out and building meaningful connections. That's the other thing. Something I've learned, and talking to Pat, actually, this changed my world. We're building meaningful connections. You can't get someone to join your tribe without connecting with them and without taking that time to really touch them and connect to them. Because you have to find out what their struggles are. You have to find out what their pain is. What's the pain that you're trying to fix? You know, whether it's that 
they want to lose 10 pounds, which I think is amazing, or they need to lose 300 pounds. Whatever it is, it's your job, it's our job to go out there and figure it out, find it out, even if they don't realize what they need to do yet, because trust me, I was that girl who was like, I love being fat. I love it. It's great. And every night I would cry my eyes out because I was so scared and afraid that I was going to die. So scared. So the people that tell you, oh, I'm fine. I don't need anything. They're not. 99% of them, they're not. And this is me coming from, you know, real experience. They're not. They, they need us. We need to be able to reach them. And so how are you going to reach them? Meaningful connections. Finding something that connects to them. So maybe the program that you're doing doesn't connect with them, you know? But maybe you posted a recipe that they think is amazing. Or maybe you posted about something super raw and real. That's my next tangent uh, about, you know, your life. Um, and, and that's what gets them. And so the question is, how are you reaching out to people? How are you connecting with people? The number one thing that I see everywhere, not just on Beachbody, but in every single multi-level marketing, is I see a lot of posts that are fluff. And there's nothing wrong with fluff. Fluff is great. It's delicious with peanut butter, maybe once a year. But um, it's, it's not substantial. There's nothing there that's going to affect someone positively. So I say this and I mean this. You have to be absolutely raw, real, and possibly even disgusting to approach them. And so what I, what I mean by that, and I don't mean like truly disgusting, you know, don't like, you know, I don't know, show like an infect, infected wound, but show something <laughs> that make someone stop their Facebook scroll because we're all scrolling all day. We're just, you know, connected to our phones. Like it's like literally just this, you know, a third limb. It makes them stop and say, oh my God, and read. And the picture I'm going to show you, if it's okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Um, I'm going to share this. This is my before and after photo. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Facebook. Nope, nope. Okay. I'm really sorry, everyone. This is a... Can anyone see this? Okay, there we go. Whew. Got there. This is my before and after picture. Okay. So my first day that I was doing 21 Day Fix and I decided to coach, I posted that picture on the left. It is the most seriously embarrassing photo I've ever taken in my entire life. Because I'll tell you, I wore leggings every day. And if, ever, and if, if people don't know about leggings, it hides everything. Really, they're magic, magic, uh, you know, receptacles. But for me, my leggings hid the true seriousness of my obesity. Um, and so... <laughs> That's my, everyone was able to see that, right? Hopefully, okay, great. It's not a picture of like my dog. Um, <laughs> people were able to see the true um, severity of my obesity when I started. And so showing a picture like that, showing the true difference between before and after, showing something that you would never want anyone to see, that's the picture that you want to share. And you want to share something that is so scary. It's vulnerable because that vulnerability is going to invite people in. And they're going to say, okay, if she were, if she's able to post this and she's able to, you know, share the something that is so scary, I'm going to take this leap of faith too. And I'm going to join her tribe. I trust her. I trust it. So. What you're doing is you're building trust. You are building trust with your readers. You're showing them that you are not perfect. And let me just say this. You don't have to have a massive transformation to attract people. You know, you can have a 10-pound transformation where you go from having a little pooch 
to having rock hard abs. And that's going to affect people just as much as mine because it's going to connect to someone different. Mine is going to probably attract someone who is maybe a little bit heavier or maybe not, but someone who is struggling to get that perfect body that they want, you showing them your picture that maybe doesn't have rock hard abs and maybe you're afraid to show it, that's what's going to attract them. And that's amazing. Or showing that you're not a perfect mom. I mean, Andrea Wallace's before and after pictures of her pregnancy are so freaking incredible. And Andrea wasn't terribly heavy to begin with, but like, you know, during her pregnancy, but they're so, they're so incredible. They're incredible. There's probably what, like 10 pounds there, but it, it's so incredible. It's amazing. And it shows what these programs can do. So, um, it's not going to be easy for you to always be raw and real, and you're not going to want to post certain things. Of course, you're welcome. <laughs> you're not going to want to post things sometimes because they're going to be scary to you. But the number one truth to my success is I have shown what a true transformation looks like. And if you want people to join your tribe and also transform, you have to share that in the process. So don't be afraid because you're going to save lives and you're going to pay your rent. So it's going to be all good. It's going to be great. I promise. <laughs> um, so the, the other thing I want to say is that, you know, there's a lot of multi-level marketing here. You know, in, in, on Facebook, there's, there's people posting everything. You know, you have Advocare, you have Rodan and Fields, you have, I saw someone having oysters. There's now an oyster opening thing where people have pearls and they get to choose jewelry. I swear to God, there's, there is multi-level marketing for everything. However, I can promise you, there's never been a pearl that you put inside of jewelry that saves lives. I promise you. There's never been a Rodin and Fields product that saves your lives, that saves your life. I promise you. I love Rodin and Fields. I use it every day, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I always have wrinkles, let me tell you. But is it saving my life? No, it's not. Maybe it's saving my face when, for when I'm 50, but it's not saving my life. And Advo Care, as awesome as it is, it's not saving lives. So you go and you go out there and know Shakeology is the only thing on the market that is actually saving lives. So you watch and you go through and you see all these posts and you don't worry because literally they're going to figure out really quickly, your, your, your followers are gonna figure out really quickly that it works, doesn't work, and Advocare is just a bunch of chemicals. God bless Advocare, but it really is. And Rodan and Fields is awesome, but it's not what you're doing. So don't worry. Like I said, there's 1% of the population that is using Beachbody. I kid you not. 1%. We have to go out and save all the other people that don't know about how amazing we are. Because everyone thinks that we're selling pearls, but we're not. We're selling life, okay? So that is the coolest thing. I love it. I'm in love with it. So um, I just, I don't know what I would do without Shakeology because I, any day that I don't drink it, I literally feel like a different person. I feel with Shakeology, just so you know, the number one thing that happens when you are working with binge, eater, binge eaters or food addicts is that Shakeology takes away the cravings to binge and it takes away the cravings for, for food addicts. And so, so often those are the kinds of people that need our help the most. And it's something that you need to, to tell people that this is going to take away your binge. It is going to make it bearable. Really, that's the number one thing. It's, it's going to make it bearable. I can't say that I don't have a, a bag of uh, barbecue chips up in my thing. I do. I literally do have a little bag of my Cape Cod chips, but I've avoided it for like five days. You know, I bought those in like a haste one day when I hadn't drank in my psychology. And I look at them every day and I'm like, not today. No, 
I, I'm drinking my, I better drink some, some Shakeology today because I, I have not yet, but I will, uh, because those are probably at subject to be eaten if I don't. Um, <laughs> but um, that's what we're doing here. Um, and so it's a, uh, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> the number one thing is that, um, you will affect people positively every time you post. You will change lives. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but have you ever had a challenger lose a huge amount of weight? Does, has anyone, if you raise your hand, if you have, if you had a challenger lose a huge amount of weight? How amazing is that feeling to watch, to watch? How amazing is it to know that you've made that effect? Personally, my, the challenger that's lost the most amount of weight for me is 50 pounds. We are, she's not doing, um, you know, the 21 day fix anymore, but she drinks Shakeology regularly. I'm like, do whatever you want, do whatever works, keep trucking. But I guess the, the thing is, um, I don't know what I would have done if, Pat Reelman didn't find Beachbody. So imagine your next challenger, your next coach that you sign up is going to be Pat Reelman. And not only that, but it's going to be someone who loses 50 pounds. It's going to be someone who helps an organization lose probably 10,000 pounds. Because, like, think about it. How much weight have we all lost together? How much weight is Pat responsible for? How much obesity is cured because of what Pat has started? It's, like, crazy. We all have this capability. And just, like, I've read the 10X rule. I believe in it strongly. You have to take massive action to make a difference. Pat takes massive action. Caroline takes massive action. Amy takes massive action. And, and Andrea, and, and I, I mean, it's amazing. This family who takes massive action to make it so that we are able to see our children grow up. Or maybe someone else is able to see their children grow up. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to have children. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome that's been cured by using 21 Day Fix and Shakeology. I mean, it's crazy. There's so many things. I used to tell everyone I didn't want kids. You know why? Because I couldn't. They told me I couldn't have children. And now it's possible. <laughs> so how many people have been affected by what Pat has started? And then ask yourself, how many people will be affected by what you start? And so go out there, and with every single interaction you have, Say, this is going to be the change. This is going to be the action that creates that ripple effect. And go out there and absolutely kill it. And kill it, but save people at the same time. And um, just be real. Don't be fake. Don't, put, just, don't just post sel sweaty selfies. Don't just post a picture of some chili that you made. I'm totally guilty of that, by the way, the other day. Um, don't, but get real. Make like three out of six posts that you make real. Make them raw. Make them hilarious. Make them funny. Make people laugh. Make people cry. Affect them. Create an interaction that changes lives and keep going. And yeah, that's what I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. I think it's so easy sometimes to get caught up in the other parts of the business and forget what we're actually doing, the ripple effect we're creating. It's, and that's so funny, like the, after leadership, this is all Carl Deichler talked about. He was like, we got to get away from this, this environment of success club points and elite. And he was like, it's our fault, corporate's fault in a way because we push it as like, this is the end all be all. We need to get back to why we created the coaches. It's not to hit, hit success club and, and all that stuff. Yeah, you can create financial freedom and, and, and that stuff's great. But 
as long as you're focused on the, the right things. So this, this call came at like the perfect, perfect time. Uh, I, I, a couple things. I had a question for you, Sarah. Yeah. So you talked about the products being a huge part of, of your results. Yeah. Uh, Shakeology in particular, especially with someone who, who struggles with eating, overeating, or binge eating. It's huge for uh, craving your sugar cravings a lot of times, um, or curbing those sugar cravings. But I think the other part that sometimes we, we forget is that human element that comes along with the products, the experience we give people in our challenge groups, what we do with them after they actually purchase the products. So do you mind just sharing a little bit about what you do with your challengers once they've ordered? Yes, and so this is something that changed hugely for me just in the past month. Super Saturday affected that. Our call affected that. I mean, there's a number of different things that have affected that, but the number one thing and the best thing that I've started to do is videos. I realize I'm not a great writer. I know this from myself. I connect with people face to face or through my voice. So I have started to call my challengers rather than text them. And I've started to record videos to them rather than message them because that's something that I connect better. I can say what I want easier and they connect to better. And so what I've started to do is now my challenge group is actually a video challenge group. So instead of posting, I'm posting three videos a day where I'm talking about what I want to speak about um, instead of just writing out some posts that's not heartfelt and it's just something that I'm lazily doing at the end of the day. You can't half-ass a video. You have to literally be there, be present. Last night I did record mine in bed, but it was like five minutes, so it was fine. You know, like, so you have to be there and be present. And I think that's what people connect to really well. It creates better um, engagement in the challenge groups too. People are, po are commenting more and, and being more involved. So that's something that I personally do with my challengers to keep them involved. Oh, you're muted. Do you do Facebook Live in your challenge groups? Yes, and if you update the Facebook app, just so you know, you have to update your Facebook app in order to do that. But yes, I can do Facebook Live in the challenge groups, and a lot of my challengers will do Facebook Live in the challenge groups. So what do you, like give us an example of a topic or two you would, you would hop on to do a live video about in your group. Absolutely, so um, today there is, um, there's a saying that, that Oracle says. It says, I'm okay, you're okay, we're okay. And so I spoke about that today because the number one thing is that people are going to have temptation. People are going to fall off. And what I want to stress is if you, if you fall off for a meal, do not beat yourself up. You are okay. You're going to get right back on and you're not going to worry. You're going to just focus on, you know, this moment being real right now. So, I mean, the, the number one thing is so many people wait until like Monday or January 1st or the beginning of the month to get back on. I'm like, don't do that. Literally this afternoon is going to be your January 1st, no matter what happens. And like, so that's, that's an example, basically just giving support letting people know that we are all human and we all make mistakes and like I'm sushi oh my god forget about it but like literally you just have to know that the next meal is going to be perfect and that's what you're going to focus on right something like that so it sounds like you also incorporate some of your personal development in there which is great because you talked about how when you were struggling with the eating it was a lot to do with the feelings more than anything else so oh, yeah. you know a lot of times like, if you give someone shakeology and some workout programs that might help with some of the cravings but there's still some underlying things that are causing them to binge occasionally so if you're in your challenge groups and not just throwing them a product but you're in a challenge group with them sharing some of the personal development that you guys are reading and going through yourselves 
going to help them too. They're going to start to pick up on some of that stuff and maybe even incorporating, you know, some daily personal development for them to, to watch as well. You know, I do like the Darren dailies every day. I think that's made a huge difference in my challenge groups because people just have a different mindset now too. Like, yeah, the products work and they're starting to feel better physically. Um, but now they're also mentally having a change too, because they're just thinking a little bit differently based on some of these little videos they're watching. So I, I think incorporating, you know, your own personal development and some other little personal development into your challenge groups as part of the experience you're giving your challengers is, is huge. Uh, cause a lot of times that's where they're really struggling. It's, it's not the number on the scale or the food and, and they're putting in their mouth. It's, there's something else that they need a little personal development with. Um, I'm sure we all can relate to that. So, um, what else? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Wrote down a bunch of stuff. I liked how you said we've touched 1% of people. I totally agree with that. I don't even know if it's 1%. Uh, I think there's so many people that want to, to do something. They just don't know where to start or they're afraid of what other people are going to say about them if they try to make a change because the people around them aren't. It's like the crabs in a bucket and someone's, one of them tries to, crab, tries to crawl out and the other crabs grab them. You know what I mean? So, you know, for us to just kind of share what we're up to and like you said, like in a real way, like if, you met, if you're messing up or things aren't going right, you know, you, you share that stuff, you know? Um, you just be real about your own journey. But if you, guys are doing, if you guys are on your own journey with your own personal development, your own nutrition, your own fitness, you're gonna start to feel better. And you're just kind of slowly share that with other people and other people are just going to kind of watch and see what you're doing and you're not trying to sell them on anything. You know, I think that's something that Sarah is so great at. Like she's just real. If you go to her Facebook and look at it, like she's, she doesn't have these things to say like, go buy this or, Hey, you should go do this. It's like, Hey, this is what I'm up to. And if you want to be a part of this journey with me, I'd love to help you. And if you don't, that's fine too. You know, I'm not here to sell. I'm here to just work with the willing. And, and, and that's, that's what people are attracted to. And, and then you do, and then eventually you do get some of these people that want to get on board with that. You know, they want to get on board with that and they want to grow too. They want to feel better physically, mentally, emotionally. And then they start to get that. And then you see it, like Sarah said, you start to see them do that for other people. You start to see them share their journey on social media and see them start to kind of get some people on, on that journey with them. And all of a sudden you're like, Oh, this ripple effect thing, this thing's real. Like this isn't this something people talk about, like this ripple effect is actually happening. Like I'm not just helping people, like I'm helping people and empowering them to the point now where they're turning around and helping other people. And this ripple effect is starting to grow bigger and bigger. And it's such a cool thing to see, you know? So, but that just comes from being really consistent with your own journey for, for an extended period of time, you know, and letting those people trust you, you know, before they get on board. Um, and a lot of times people need to watch for a while before they trust you. And that's something we talked about. It's like, are you doing this? Are you on this journey, drinking your Shakeology and, and your workouts and your personal development because you're just trying to build a business or are you doing it because that's the kind of person you are? Because if you're the kind of person that wants to grow and wants to be stronger physically and mentally, and you're doing that for you and you're just sharing that journey to keep yourself accountable and to invite others to be a part of that, you're going to find good people that, that, that have that same big heart like you guys and want to be a part of that too. And that ripple effect is that ripple effect is bound to happen. It just is. It's a very cool thing. So, all right, I talked too much, but uh, we got five minutes left. Does anyone have any questions for Sarah? There are some questions in the box, so I don't know. You want me to answer those? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Let me scroll. Let me just say, everyone is like the nicest human. Thank you. I'm like gonna like snap all these and just read them when I'm having a, a rough day, um, <laughs> especially S Club Party. Um, so, okay, I think the, there's one right here that um, what do you do with people who join and then don't seem to participate even though they said that they wanted to? <sighs> well, here's the thing. Super Saturday, someone spoke about this. Sorry, my bottom half is still work out. Um, they spoke about this and they said, you know, I have this woman who bought 21 Day Fix and Shakeology and she keeps talking about how she wants to change and I can't seem to motivate her and I don't know what to do and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, so the number one thing is we can only provide 
the medium, and we can only provide inspiration. They have to provide the other part. And so if they're not participating in the challenge group, that might be how they decide to go about their journey. They'll find that they'll want to eventually. They might just be, you know, getting comfortable. And as they see other people, you know, taking part and, you know, getting into it, they might feel comfortable. And you know what? They may not feel comfortable. But what your job is as the coach is to give them your, their own little personal attention. Make sure they're okay. Make sure that they're, you know, staying on track. If they don't want to participate, they might just be kind of introverted and not want to get involved, but they could still be going on their journey. You know, I have a challenger um, who I message every day and I'm like, are you okay? Is everything great? And she's like, yeah, you know, she's 69 years old. She's like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just doing everything I'm, you know, I'm supposed to do, but she doesn't necessarily feel like getting involved in the challenge group, and that's okay. Um, and there we go. She needed a few months to really get started. Look, she's a coach now, so you never know. Cool. I love that you said it was like your first month where you didn't hit Success Club 10, you hit Success Club 9, but it was probably the most fulfilling month you've had, and probably the, the biggest ripple effect is going to come out of that month. Yeah. I'm so happy about it. I'm so excited about it. I feel good inside. I, I don't feel dirty. There are months where I would feel dirty. I'd be like, I'm just like this dirty salesman who's just like selling this and I'm not helping people. And this month, I feel good about every single challenge pack I sold, every single coach I signed. Um, I felt so good about it. It was like good in here. It's awesome. All right. I wrote down a couple uh, one-liners you had that I, that I think would be kind of cool to end the call with. <laughs> um, oh, God. I love, <laughs> I, love I, that you, I love that you said, enjoy the ride. And that goes back to kind of what I was talking about before, but just enjoying being on this journey yourself and not being like salesy about trying to get other people on board with you. If you're enjoying the ride, other people are going to want to get on the ride with you. But if you set like these crazy goals and you're stressed out and you're trying to hit numbers and all this stuff and trying to make a certain income by a certain date. I think goals are great and setting them is great. I did that and then I wouldn't hit it and I'd cross it out and I'd write the next date down. That, that's okay. Having those goals. But if you're, if you're so focused on that and you're not enjoying it for your own journey, you're not going to attract the people that you want. You're not going to attract the people that want to be a part of this journey and enjoy the journey with you. So enjoy the ride. I love that one. Be real. Like if, if you want to attract good people, if you want to attract people that are just like you, that have the same doubts and, and, and the same insecurities, but have the same big dreams and goals and passions, and you got you to gotta just be yourself. Otherwise, you're going to attract somebody that you're just not going not gonna to mesh with. So be real. Uh, I like how you said, kill it, but save lives. <laughs> There's that balance, right? Like you want to kill it, you know, but you want to, but you want to do it in a way where you're enjoying it and you're being real and that's how you're going to kill it and save lives at the same time. Um, and I love that you said we're selling life. We're selling life, which is, uh, which is very true. So uh, a, a higher quality of life, a better way, I think. So we're selling life, kill it, but save people, enjoy the ride and be real. Sarah, that was amazing. Thank you so much. I'm sh do you mind if uh, some of the coaches, if they have questions they didn't want to ask, maybe they can shoot you a Facebook or a friend yeah, request or something? Add me, add me, literally. You will see a lot of probably terrible BuzzFeed things as much as, you know, Beachbody. So you might learn some top 10 favorite Harry Potter lines and also get some sweaty selfies. I would love that. Yeah, just real, you know? <laughs> I think that's cool. We don't want to like, you know what? We don't want to be these like uh, self-help gurus or self-help addicts or like anything like that. You know, we're just, we blend what we're doing with other stuff that we're doing in life. You know, it's not just always, oh, inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. It's, it's, we're human. We have other things that we do that aren't like perfect, right? Or we're not always like in an inspirational mood where we're posting that stuff. And that's what people, people don't want someone that's like 100% peppy and inspirational all the time they want someone that 
that's just real. So I think that's cool that we're going to see, uh, see all that stuff on your feet. And I think that's why you're doing so well and, and creating, you know, a big ripple effect of your own, which is very cool to see. So this is such an honor. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble for, for 25 minutes. I hope that you can change lives and, and create that ripple effect on your own. And Pat, like literally thank you. Thank you for saving me. You, know, you didn't know that you're going to. It's funny. It doesn't feel like I really did that much, you know, which is kind of. Weird. You did. Yeah. But that's, that's like the message to everybody is like, you don't, you're, you don't even really realize what you're doing. You're just doing it because you're doing it for yourself because you got a little out of shape and you wanted to get in better shape. And then you started getting in personal development and you just kind of fell in love with that aspect. And you just never know who's going to come across. And once those people do start falling in, into your lap, it's, it's such a fun ride and, and they're bound to, they just, they will, you know, I, I just, it's so saddening to see coaches give up on this thing before they find those first few coaches of their own that are starting to take that ripple effect and blow it up. It's so fun when you start to see that. And I see coaches just give up on their own journey before they get to that point. And it's, and they don't even realize what they quit on. They, re, they just don't, which is tough, but uh, all right. We're a little bit over. Sarah, thank you much. Thank you so much again for hopping on here and sharing with us. It was our honor to have you on here. That was amazing. All right. So let's get a little, uh, let's show Sarah some love with a little boom on three. I'm going to unmute everybody here. All right. Boom on three. One, two, three. Thank you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank